Hello and welcome to the two man power trip of wrestling. I am your host, JP. John Paz with me today, very special guest. You know her, the Black Rose. She's an NWA superstar. She, of course, wrestled for stardom, champion in WWC in Puerto Rico. She is La Rosa Negra. Welcome to the two man power trip. How are you doing? How are you? I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine as hell. Oh, oh. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, nice. What is going on in your world? I know you got a big title shot coming up April 7th in Chicago for the yes. NWA. Yes. I'm just excited for that weekend in April 7th to the 9th in Chicago, Illinois. Um, I'm super ready for Camille. I think um, this is a big opportunity for me in my career, in my life, to show everybody what I was never going to have. If people do not know me, they're going to know me in April 7. Um, and uh, uh, what can I say about that opportunity? I never see that opportunity like coming. You know what I mean? For me, it was uh, completely surprising after Taya hurt my ribs, you know? So I thought I would have no more opportunities in NWA after Taya hurt my ribs, but, um, you know, I'm Boricua. I have a really hot blood that made me, uh, uh, made me don't give up, you know what I mean? And, and I'm still going, and I got this shoot, and I hope doing well in April 7. I'm ready for Camille. I mean, I'm, I'm ready for whoever, you know, but in this time, for me, it's completely... Uh, why can I say it's special? Because this title is end of the way, every way woman title. Like I, I, I need that title in my ways because you know I for a long, long time, John, I'm waiting for something like that. You know, like for something who somebody like really takes serious my my abilities, my talents, you know what I mean? So now I have this opportunity to show everybody why NWA, well, no, 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 why NWA, why I win that opportunity in NWA for that title, you know? And I know Camille know too. So April 7th <laughs> is, is the big show. Of course, you go for tickets, nationalwrestlingalliance.com, and it'll be on Fight TV. It's going to be a pay-per-view, and it's going to yes. be – You'll one out there in Chicago. I mean, this is big. Camille makes the big um, statement that she's the one-time champion. She keeps saying one-time, meaning that she's been champ so long, she's not going to lose it. What are your thoughts on on taking the title from her, just like the, the thought of that? Because it seems almost impossible to some. Well, no many people believe. Let me show, let me show you, like, fans and – I'm sorry, I'm fixing. Like – Many, many people think like Camille will be the one champion ever. That will not be possible. Is no woman can be a hero because the heroes are in the movies. That's what I'm saying before. But um, I know she's strong. I know where she comes from. I know how is her desire to keep that title in her ways. I know she thinking right now. She will want this match because she has the no, let's go. Because she thinks she has everything. But like everybody don't know and she don't know. It's like you can you can subestimate somebody. How do you say subestimate in English? Like subestimate, subestimar. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, like, like you can think like negative stuff about somebody who you don't know what they got, you know, like she thinks I am not enough to won the title, you know, and she's wrong. And everybody who think the same, people, you are thinking in wrong way, you know, and I will, I will let you know you are wrong in April 7 at NWA because, you know, like things happen and can happen, you know, so she can say no, and she can say never will happen because she don't know the future. I don't know the future. So because my heart beating so hard about this title, I'm just 
I, I just want to let you know, guys, like she need to really take care about it, you know, because I'm going with my all, with my best, with my 150% best of me to win the title and put that title in my ways to really representing the woman division of MWA. Mm, um, I have a big desire about it. So, what do, you, what do you think about Camille, though, just in general? I mean, the, the, the title run, everything. What do you think about Camille? She seems unstoppable right now. Well, she thinks she's, she think that what you're saying right now, she thinks she's unstoppable. She went to AAA, right, like soon uh, in Mexico, and she, like, you know, representing USA with Diona and Jordan. They, you know, you think she think, and she's still thinking she's the best. She's the biggest. But I know, and she knows she's doing a great job. I mean, I mean, I can, you know, I can cover the, the sky with my hand because you can't. You know, she she did a great job. I, I don't say none, you know. She did a great job. She she showed us how strong that she is. She showed us how how damaged that spear can be if I took it. Huh? I, I You know, people know what she got, and I know what she got. But that doesn't mean because she feels that way, she will be always a champion. You know, she needs to stop thinking like that and be ready for whatever going to happen in April 7. You know, she's good. You never know. She's good. Yeah. You never know what could happen uh, in this. Nobody idea. knows. Uh, <laughs> Now, you said you were kind of surprised, uh, you know, that this opportunity came about. Obviously, the Ty Valkyrie match yeah. and, and things like that. What, like, why were you so surprised? You thought they were they were going to pass you over? Well, after the Tessa, uh, oh my god, after the Taya stuff. Yep. Well, after Taya, I thought a lot of stuff because that hurt me, you know, and I that was the first time in my life that I felt. I can breathe during my match until the end, you know? Uh, and I felt, I felt, uh, well, I can say I felt vulnerable. I felt sadly. I felt uh, frustration. Mm. Frustration. I felt like that frustration, like, made me cry so much because I didn't do my match very well. And um, I thought like Billy Corgan and the other part of the team of NWA, like Pat and all the guys, Jazz, you know, people who like really believe what I'm going to do. I, I just get frustrated about what they're going to think about this event, you know, about this success. And um, because that, because I need to show something that I can't my first time, I thought they will never let me the doors open to come back to NWA. So I just felt, you know, <laughs> a disaster. My mind uh, getting trouble to think in, in good way for like two days. So Pat, Pat uh, gave me a good conversation who let me know uh, how important I am and how much talented I am. And the little thing that I showed that day with Taya Berkeley on the ring, they, they said, you, you, you let me with much, uh, come on, you said, much like ganas to see more about you, you know? So don't worry about it. Just go to your house, rest some, go to the doctor, check your ribs, check everything I did. I take my I took my medicines. I just feel better. I call back Billy. I call back Pat. I call back Jazz. I call everybody. Um, and uh, they said, "Okay, look, something happened right now." And I call in this in the good way, you know, in, in the in the come on the perfect time because genocide get hurt when I call. So they decide, you know, to to put me in that place for genocide, to finish the champion series with the rock and roll team. And that was for me a boom, a double, double doors open, you know, no, no one, two at the same time. Like I feel like that opportunity for me was the biggest. 
and because Rock and Roll won together, so uh, I just feel glad and feel, you know, uh, uh, grateful with with the Rock and Roll team because if them, if, if it wasn't for everybody together, I haven't uh, right now they shoot for the title, you know. So it's see, see, it's a big one, important one in my career that I'm saying, the same like my dreams come through. The first one was Japan. You know, in Japan, when I went to Japan, I said, wow, I'm, a, I'm the second Boricua, you know, the second girl wrestler to go into Japan to make things happen representing our flag, you know? And um, also, I won the high speed champion for stardom. That for me was amazing. I was, whoa. You don't know how that shit was for me. <laughs> and that was one of my dreams, you know, come true. And now in NWA, I was behind NWA like for a long, long time, maybe like 2014, when Casey Carly was NWA champion. You know, that was a long, 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 long time ago. So, you know, look at me now. I'm here, I'm in, I have the time, I'm having the opportunity for the title, and I will try to win that title, I will give him my 150%, and, and I'm so happy, you know, and I'm so happy. Uh, why can I say, John? I don't know. So, but yeah, it's a big, big opportunity. And I hope the fans enjoy everything that's going to happen in this story with her and me at NWA. I hope so. NWA three twelve was big, but you mentioned stardom in Japan. How'd you get in there? How'd you get into the stardom promotion? Well, stardom was for me we because you know Melissa Anderson. Yep, she's one of the greatest. Yeah, she little Melissa. Uh, she went to WWE. She the she doing every promotions uh, at now. She's for me. She's a greatness. She's a uh, one of my favorite wrestler of theoria and psychology in the ring. You know, I did a match with Melissa Anderson in PWS in New Jersey for the title. I was a, a, a champion, the former champion for PWS. And I did a match with Melissa, maybe like 16 to 20 minutes match for that title. I won. So after that match, uh, maybe like one year later, something like that, 2014, 15, she called me and texted me about, hey, Rosa, how are you, blah, blah, blah. I know you're doing a lot of stuff, but right now, do you like to go to Japan? Am I like, I, you kidding me? You know, I, I, I was a specialist when I read that. Am I like, that's true? It's true? And she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm talking seriously. I mean, like, okay. Uh, of course, you know, and she like, I know you're doing good. I know you're a talent. I know you are athletic. I know you can do this type of style of wrestling. And um, I want to you going to there. So she spoke, she spoke for me. She was my, my agent. <laughs> she was my, my booker. She was my promotion, my, my promoter. And she bring me to there. Uh, that time was uh, October 2015. In September, I live in September. September. And then in October 2015 to October 25, I get hurt. I break my two knees in Japan. And uh, that was, let me see, two weeks before, no, two weeks after, two weeks after me, like, Gain the champion belt, the speak, uh, high speed champion, I get hurt. <laughs> so that was, ugh. bad luck. That was, that was a, a, a nightmare, a nightmare. It was a nightmare for me, you know. But yeah, Melissa Anderson was the girl who brought me to, to stardom. She believed in my, in my abilities to be, you know, a good athlete in Japan. Uh, I passed that that training was hard as fuck and I did for, <laughs> for, for long. So I feel like what they saw of me in the practice, that's what 
let them know like, yeah, I can't do it, you know? So I don't know. I, 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 so, Sometimes I do not expect the result of my talent, you know? And I think every day I'm doing better and better. <laughs> I don't know. We will see in 8%. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely find out. <laughs> yes. Right. Obviously, you wrestled in Puerto Rico. You wrestled in Japan, all over the United States. Do you have some dream matches, though? Of, of obviously, Camille's going to be one of them. But some other girls you haven't wrestled that you'd like to wrestle? Well, look, I like every girl who I wrestle already, but um, I think I want to have a match with Mercedes Martinez. I want to have a match with Io Shirai because Io, I did with Io one time in, in Japan for the Black Belt title, but. I thought in that match I was so nervous to make it because Medusa was Hussein. Like, I want to see Rosa versus Io Shirai. Let me see what we're doing for the title belt. You know, I'm like, what? <laughs> so, I want another revenge match with Io. You know, uh, we deserve another match. Uh, with Dakota, Dakota, I don't saw. Uh, uh, come I say, I don't see Dakota for a long time ago. I think the last time when I saw Dakota, she's in the little Louis right now. Yep. I think I saw her the last time in Shine Wrestling where we was doing indie wrestling in in um Tampa in Ivor City. That was the last time when I saw Dakota, and Dakota her career was growing and growing and growing, and she get like like this to get growing and growing and growing and growing. And I was like, wow. So she is one of the other girls that I, you know, want to have a match because just because she grow how it is step by step, you know, she grabbed her character like so well right now. I mean, I like her. I love her so much. Um, uh, EO, Martinez, Dakota, uh, who else? I don't know. It's a many, many. <laughs> I want to wrestle with everybody. With everybody. <laughs> but I think these three. Oh, Athena. Athena. Athena, we practice together. We share a lot of, you know, moments together. Athena is a great person, nice person, human being. Uh, and Athena, for me, is one of the best around the world. Like, one of the best. Because she have everything. She have every style. She have everything. Aquí, like teoría, psicología, you know, movement, you know, skills. Skills like no everybody have, you know. And she, for me, is one of the best around the world who I can tell you right now, yes. She, for me, she's one of the three best on the world, you know, Athena. Um, I don't know if I forget somebody, I'm so sorry, but uh, that's the, the, the first woman who my mind bring right now to have a dream match, you know. What about Mercedes Monet? That would be a good one. Oh, Mercedes Monet can be good, of course. Yes, yes. Um, uh, with Mercedes, I don't, uh, with Monet, I don't know if I share local room with her before. Because sometimes we, we, we think we know each other because we share, share a lot of social media stuff, you know, a lot of, you know, many, many events, many, many conventions about wrestling. So, but yeah, she can be a good one. Yeah. I'll see. See. Yeah. <laughs> champion. yeah, she's the woman's champion. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So with yeah. you, obviously... We've talked about dream matches. What about places you'd like to work? I know NWA, obviously, this is the big one now, but I know you've worked for AEW before. Is there some places, and, and Stardom, of course, is there some places that you'd like to work that you hadn't worked before? Okay. Uh, yes, yes. Stardom was one of my of my biggest dreams because it's in Japan, and this is the one of the big woman uh, company there. Um, in AEW, well, if... If they if they can change the deal with the talent, you know, sometimes yep. and really look the skills of everyone, 
So then I can, you know, be more attractive about them, you know? So what I did, I read like a three matches uh, versus Sky Blue versus Red Velvet and versus Marina. Uh, what is it? Marina. And um, I like working with the girls, you know, because the girls doesn't have the fault about whatever you know happens during the match it you know and what the agents say what everybody say you know what i mean uh i, I like work with the girls that uh, that i do not like is you know how is the how is the system that they got right i don't like the system that they got I like the talent that they got. They have a lot of talent with skills, like, wow. And I, I, I you know, you know the, 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 the roster right now, like contract and non-contract, they are completely good wrestlers, you know? But if they turn the ideas and the system in other way, maybe, you know, option B, option C, other way to make, things happens, maybe I will be more attractive or interesting about them. Yeah. But right now it's like if they call me or I call you right now, it would be okay. If no, well, it's okay too. You know, before I was like calling, calling, email, email, do this, do that, do that. Now I'm like, okay, um I'm waiting. Let them come to you, right? Yeah. So just to yeah. So we'll wrap it up and we'll head towards the finish. Want to mention, of course, nationalwrestlingalliance.com for tickets. But NWA 312 is a big pay-per-view coming up at Studio yeah. One in Chicago, Illinois. You're in the co-main event for the NWA Women's World Championship against Camille. Just give us one last push for the pay-per-view and uh, you know for everybody to get it on Fight TV. Yes. Also, I think the ticket is in nwatix.com or something like that. Yes. So go there if you can see it. Maybe it's Fight TV like John said. If you can just see what I'm doing during the day, go to my page. In IG is Aroba El Abusadora. Or if you want to go to Twitter, is in Spanish, Aroba La Rosa Negra PR. So I will be for you guys. And I hope like you uh, getting that ticket or getting the Fight TV to, sh to see and watch what's going to happen because maybe they we have like seven title matches or six title matches i don't remember we have a lot of title matches and you're in the co-main event so uh, you know any prediction prediction oh my god don't say again because my heart beating so hard <laughs> i come in you don't know what i'm feeling right now baby oh all right Papi, La Rosa Negra, thank you so much for all time. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for the interview. And um, I hope like people who, who who watch this video, please click and follow to me. And I hope, guys, you got these tickets to these completely awesome matches coming up in April 7 at MWA USA. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you, too.